It's a new agreement that opens the door for more flights to India. Previously, only 35 flights per week were allowed. Now that number is unlimited. But some say the new rules don't make life all that much easier for the massive Punjabi community here in Canada. You say you have a one million strong Punjabi diaspora and what you signed on the paper is totally different. Mohit Danju is the spokesperson for Fly Amritsar Initiative. It's a group advocating for a direct flight between Canada and the Indian city of Amritsar in the Punjab state. The city has an international standard airport. It has a CAT 3B landing system that we have in all the big airports like YVR or Toronto Airport. Currently, direct flights from Canada only go to Delhi. But with the new agreement, five more cities will be added to the list. So that doesn't shorten a lengthy trip to Punjab. It's a long flight and in between, if there is a five, six hour stopover, then you can assume like 24 hours journey. And the next journey is almost eight hours. The connecting flights from Delhi to Amritsar are also not much of an option. Seven hours you can sit at the airport and wait. In the 21st century, people shouldn't be spending so much time. You take a 14-hour flight to reach Delhi, then you're making a 10-hour road trip. It doesn't make any sense. Last month, four Canadian MPs wrote to Air Canada and Air India, voicing support for direct flights between Canada and Amritsar and 14,000 people signed a petition pushing for the flights. The Canadian government says they tried to get the flights on the table. Uh, unfortunately, the Indian government was not ready yet, um, um, even though we've asked. They were able to get Bangalore, Chennai, Delhi, uh, Hyderabad, Kolkata, and Mumbai, but they weren't able to do Amritsar, even though there's over a million Canadians of Punjabi descent the last agreement between the two countries was signed in 2011. And with the latest agreement leaving Amritsar out, it could be a while before those like Danju could fly directly from Canada to Amritsar. So imagine like the population, in live, people living in Vancouver have to drive all the time to Kelowna to take the flight. Saurabh Sandhu, CBC News, Vancouver.